Hello again. As you might have seen in other videos I've made, I use EXWM as my Windows Manager, the Emacs Windows Manager. And I'm very happy with that. It allows me to treat X, like X clients, as just any other buffer. So there is no multiple dimensions in my workspace. I don't have workspaces. I don't have um, um, like different environments. So everything's a buffer. A buffer could be a text file, an org file, um, my RSS reader, but also my browsing and all of the X clients that I use. I don't use many, I basically use a browser. There are other graphical applications that I also use, but the cool thing is that um, whatever technique I use, in my case, Ivy to switch buffers, it works no matter what type of buffer I'm dealing with. It can be a a uh, browsing session, it can be, I don't know, uh, an Emacs Lisp file I'm editing. And I've written some custom configuration on top of EXWM that I want to showcase today for you. Um, so for instance, when I browse the, I use Firefox as my browser, uh, and I don't use tab-based browsing. Every time I create a browsing session, let's call it, um, I create a window, so let's create one to see how it works. I'm gonna just open a Wikipedia page, for instance, for which is from Madrid. So it opens one Firefox. Um, that's a, an EXWM buffer that contains the the Firefox window. And interesting things about this buffer is um, the name of it. So as you can see on the bottom here. Um, the name contains three things. It contains a prefix, which is f and then hash. It contains the title of the window, which in this case, um, there's enough room for it, but it's trimmed to, I don't know how many characters, I don't remember. And it also contains the host name of the um, page I'm visiting. So I'm going to open another one. Uh, I'm going to open just I'm gonna do a Google search or just do just a, a map search and open a street map of Geneva. Okay. So now if I want to go back to uh, the Wikipedia page about Madrid, just switch buffer, I search for Madrid and there I am. So every time I want to switch to a different context or different type of activity, I just use the buffer search, so the IV buffer, don't remember the command, but I have it bound to control B. So it doesn't matter if it's a browsing, um, a web page I'm visiting or any other type of content that I use as a mechanism to look for it. And on this concept, I've also written something which allows me to narrow down the list of buffers to Firefox windows. So if I do super one, it shows me a list of buffers that are only Firefox windows. So it's easier to search for what I'm looking uh, for, like Geneva, and there you go. I switched that way. If I open a Google search and I search for Emacs Lisp, for instance, there you go. This new window appears in the list and I can even kill them from here with Ivy, so Control K. I want to kill, for instance, this one, Control K, it's not there anymore. Mm, the fact that I've got the title and the host name and the name is convenient because sometimes I don't really remember what the title was, but I remember the host name, so I can search by host name if I wanted, for instance, to search for all the Wikipedia pages I've opened. So let's open another one, search in Wikipedia for CERN, for instance. I can just do super one and then like wiki, and there you go, all the browsing windows that are Wikipedia pages. Um, something else is that um, normally many people end up with lots of lots of like windows open, lots of Firefox windows open, and um, I've got a way to kill them all in one go, because one option as I showed before would be to uh, open the list and then kill one individually, but that's a bit cumbersome when you have 
tens of them, which is something that can easily happen, especially if we are, if we are doing lots of searches on different uh, search engines. So I've got a custom command called exwm kill and protected by prefix, which will kill all the exwm buffers that are of uh, the members of the same prefix. In this case, the prefix is F, so I press capital F and enter, and it will kill them all. So now if I do super one, there's nothing there. Um, however, the command, if you, I don't know if you noticed, uh, it contains the word unprotected. And that's because I can mark certain buffers as protected. So they are not killed by this mass killer. I'll show you an example. So I'm going to open uh, another Wikipedia page, like uh, GNU Emacs. And on the other side, I'm going to open, um, under the window, I'm going to open, um, I don't know, Slack. So I can select one of these windows, one of these, sorry, one of these buffers, and do super P. And if you look here in the mini buffer, it says EXWM buffer protection set to true. So in this case now, if I mass kill again all of the EXWM buffers start with prefix F, only the one on the left will be killed because this one here is protected. This is useful, for instance, if you have, um, imagine, I don't know, your company uses um, a chat system like Slack and you want that window to be persistent and you don't want to be mass killed. I don't know, this has several applications. In my case, I use it for something like this. Um, there's a similar concept in Firefox with tabs called, I think, pinned tabs. That is a way to protect some tabs so they are not accidentally removed. I use this all the time. And finally, another feature I wanted to show you is um, I've got two key bindings, which are Super 4 and Super 5, which are dynamic bookmarks for EXWM buffers. So if imagine I've got this Slack here and I want to have a quicker a quicker way to find it, uh, apart from, you know, if I wanted to switch to this, if I had here issue and I wanted to go to Slack, I would do super one is lag enter. However, if I do now uh, super four, here in the mini buffer, it says added super four, a shortcut for buffer, Slack, whatever. So now, let's say I'm in the state, and if I do super four, automatically I go back to the Slack buffer. Actually, if I press super four again, go back to where it was before. So it goes back and forth. And I use a, um, this, actually, apart from adding the bookmark, it automatically protects the buffer. So if I open more buffers like Wikipedia and I search for Geneva and I don't know, I search in um, OpenStreetMap for um, Zurich. So I've got these three open and I say I want to kill all of the Firefox windows by killing all of the buffers with prefix F. It's like still there and I can switch to it by doing it. Super 4. This is the idea behind this is to be able to switch to um, web applications that you want to be persistent very quickly like um, the chat system that is web-based, that your company uses, whatever. Um, I can at any time reset this binding, so I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to gnu.org and I want S4 now to point to this buffer instead of Slack, so I do universal argument super u, so now super u points to gnu, so I can easily, I can just um, kill this buffer and I'm here on the right I do super 4 and this window now will display the EXWM buffer that contains the GNU web page and uh, that's all if you want to know how this is done um, if you want to read the code uh, just uh, take a look at my doc files that you can find if um, 
Forge, Browse Repository, um, Doc Files, which is this one, like Doc Files on GitHub. And um, it should be this config. Uh, I'm gonna open Doc Files, Emacs, sorry. Mm -mm. Doc Files, Open File, Init, EL. And um, yeah. It should be somewhere here in um, EXLUM. Yeah, there you go. Within this use package declaration is where you'll find all of the functions that make this functionality possible. And that's all. I hope uh, you find this useful and you can, if not use it directly, um, work around it or try to expand it and make it suit your needs. Thank you for watching.